Hey Tigers, welcome to a video that I hope that you find interesting and you get some key takeaways from. Today we're going to talk about professional networking and my name is Sarah Mouton Floyd. I graduated from LSU in 2013, but I'll tell you a little bit about myself in a minute. First, I wanted to give you an overview of what we're going to learn today or what I hope that you learn today. Uh, our key takeaways are going to be how to make meaningful connections, how you can start small, and the key to any successful networking is to follow up. So we're going to cover these topics today. And like I said, I hope that you take away a small bit of something that you can, you can do now and you can learn to help grow your professional networks. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I mentioned that I graduated from LSU, Proud Tiger. I graduated from the EJ Uso College of Business and Marketing in 2013. I've spent my entire career in nonprofit, so I feel like I'm a professional volunteer, um, as well as I'm an eternal extrovert, so you'll learn a little bit more about me as we go in this presentation. Uh, my favorite spot on campus was definitely a library, but I've been seeing pictures and it doesn't look anything like it did when I was in school. Right after I graduated, I had the opportunity to work for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital for four years in Baton Rouge, and I actually commuted between Baton Rouge and New Orleans, and it was a job that I really cherished and an organization that I absolutely loved. And then recently, I relocated to Monroe, Louisiana. I work for the Children's Coalition for Northeast Louisiana, and I absolutely love what I do as the development director. And I'll tell you a little bit about my volunteering. Um, I'm a member of the Junior League of Monroe, as well as a commissioner for Volunteer Louisiana. So I'm definitely busy all the time, but I really wanted to make time to talk to you today about professional networking because it's something that I'm very passionate and I feel uh, very grateful for. And I feel like there's been a lot of connections in my life that have led me down the path that I've been on professionally. So the first thing I wanted to share is making meaningful connections. So whether you're going to now a virtual happy hour event, whether you're doing your own searching online to make those connections, which we'll talk about in just a minute, I want you to focus on making a meaningful connection, whether it be walking away from the next week or month or year from making one meaningful connection to you that's going to further your career, that's more important than your number of Instagram followers, your number of Facebook friends, Snapchat, you name it. Don't focus on the amount of connections that you can make, rather focus on finding that one strong connection that can lead you and open doors for you. Anytime you meet someone as a development director and as someone who works in a nonprofit, if I meet with someone and they let me know that their kids are huge LSU fans, or they just like the last season of Gossip Girl on Netflix, whatever it may be, I try to jot down notes and make sure that the next time I have a conversation with them that I follow up with just those little tidbits. It's the same in making a connection for your professional network as you would a friend. You're trying to find common interests that don't include your job description. So I really encourage you to find a system I love taking notes in my phone, super easy and super fast, and I know that I always have it on me. And again, I like to go in and review those. The last thing that I wanna mention in this slide is finding a mentor. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my mentor and how I sort of got to be where I am today. I took an internship when I was a student and I worked in politics and I had a boss named Kelly and she was amazing. And this was a job really unlike any other. It wasn't a regular student job. It was so much more and it was so labor intensive, but I will say that it made me a connection and honestly a lifelong friend in Kelly. Kelly and I have maintained um, in touch throughout the years and Kelly's actually with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Louisiana now and they are amazing partners for our organization in Northeast Louisiana. But on a personal level, she also recommended me to be a volunteer Louisiana commissioner, which means that I get to represent the Northeast corner of the state um, in terms of volunteerism. So I am allowed to have a voice and a seat at the table in terms of 
really just representing what our state is all about and giving back. And really, if I hadn't made that connection with Kelly, so many doors would not have been opened. And I really consider her a mentor um, for so many reasons. But find your Kelly, find that one person that you feel like you could aspire to be. Maybe not the exact same job title that you're looking for, but just someone who you want to mirror their work ethic and you want to mirror where they're going in life start small. So I know that right now there's so much uncertainty, but what is certain is that you have an opportunity to network from your computer. So there are so many happy hours that have been turned virtual and no, it's not the same, but if it's the only opportunity that you have, take that opportunity, sign up for a virtual happy hour. Um, the number one thing that I would encourage you to start with though is actually your LinkedIn profile. So whether you have a profile or not, I actually had a college professor who recommended that I create one and I'm so glad that they did because I was able to capture so many of those connections from the job that I was describing earlier and beyond. So not only are you creating it, but you're updating it. If you have one, please make sure that it's up to date. There's nothing worse than going to a website or just trying to find information and finding old information. Ask for endorsements and recommendations. So this is huge. This is focusing on your network that you have now, whether it be even family, friends, professional connections that you've made, professors, anyone that you can think of, start by just writing a simple email and saying, I really am flattered by the work that you do and I would be honored if you would recommend me or endorse me on LinkedIn. You have no idea what kind of connection that will make with someone and they will be honored that you've asked them. And then in LinkedIn, uh, definitely encourage you to engage in groups. So there are tons of groups that you can find um, that you can be a part of. I really enjoy the groups that I'm a part of. Some of them um, are just about my hobbies. Some of them are professional. And you never know what kind of connection you'll make online. So like I said, start very small, focus on your LinkedIn profile. The second thing that you can do is join the Alumni Association. And no, they did not pay me to say this. Uh, the Alumni Association, their core mission is to connect alumni. And these are basically connections that you may not make otherwise. They've got job boards that you can be part of. They've got virtual events that they are creating. Um, so it's really important that not only you support them um, with a small financial gift, look, no one is out here asking to give um, large dollar amounts, but it is a part of something that you can find meaningful connections in and you can also build your resume by being an alumni association member. Um, and then the most important thing uh, aspect of networking rather is following up. So I mentioned um, having those conversations, finding out what TV shows your, your um, connections like, uh, just learning more about their kids and just listening, um, or their family or their home life or their hobbies, whatever it may be. If you're taking those notes and you're taking note of what they enjoy doing, um, follow up with them. And I find it more powerful, especially in nonprofit, to follow up when you don't need anything. So, so many people in nonprofit are only following up with their donors when they're getting ready to ask for something um, or they are asking for something. But I think it's so important that when you follow up and you, you connect with someone when you don't need anything, it makes it so much easier when you finally do need something because you've already built that relationship. So again, we're talking about that one powerful connection that you can deepen, you're reaching out to them, whether it be through a handwritten note, an email, a phone call or a text, really anything goes at this point, um, but really following up in a meaningful way and checking in on them and letting them know that they're on your mind, especially in the time that we're in now. This is so, so, so important and follow up often. So as a development director, I have calendar appointments that will remind me specific donors. Oh, I know that it's their birthday. I know that it's their work anniversary, but it's also powerful just to do it just because. 
that's what I have for you today. It is super, super, super important for you to be true to yourself. Um, I would never want someone who has an introverted personality to feel like they have to be someone that they're not. But there is a little bit of extroversion that works in, in networking. So don't be afraid of that word. It's not something that should scare you. It's something that you should look for it as an opportunity to further your career and really just make yourself go to the next level. You're going to have to push yourself and become a little uncomfortable, but I promise you in the end that it is worth it. I can guarantee you I would not be in the seat that I'm in now had I not made those connections. And especially moving to a new town, although Monroe is part of Louisiana, it's a whole nother universe and it's a very close knit community. And if I hadn't made a handful of connections in the early days, those connections introduced me to more people. So it really was key for me to, to building that groundwork into building um, those connections, but also leaning on past friends and colleagues and coworkers who felt the need to introduce me to people in Monroe. So I've really grown my network. I've really grown my social circle, both personally and professionally. And I've done it by making those meaningful connections and also by following up. So if you guys want to connect with me, I'd be happy to um, connect with you on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. Um, I really am proud to be an alum, and I really think that it's important that you give back your time um, and you become an active part of the Alumni Association. Again, um, they're, they're a wealth of knowledge and a wealth of resource, and their team works really hard to remain connected to our alums after they graduate and I found a lot of meaning in being involved in it, even in a small way and even being not in Baton Rouge anymore. So with that being said, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned something and um, I hope that you connect with me and go Tigers.